Hey, what's up? Welcome to Live.BestTech, the place where we talk tech and everything else that's good with technology. And uh, today, we're going to do a video. We're going to be talking about Firefox 3. Why the heck not? I mean, it is Firefox download day, and I think they're estimating like 5.7 million downloads. Holy, holy, holy cow! Considering all the issues they had today with uh, getting the up, with getting it uploaded and everything. By the way, don't tell anyone, but I got Firefox 3 at 9 a.m. this morning. Top secret stuff. It was. It's pretty neat. Uh, it's actually a post on my blog, and it, it'll tell you how to do that. H how to uh, how to get it. H how you would have gotten it had you would got had you wanted it this early in the morning. Found a little trickeroo. Uh, that's that was pretty neat. I'm sure other people could have thought of it, but I was the first one to post about it at least. So, props to me for that. Anyway, I want to talk about the, my favorite Firefox improvements in Firefox version 3 um, today. First of all, I love the new password uh, management system. I love how it lets you log in and it has a, uh, a bar that drops down on the top of the browser. That way, if you, that way it, it, it stays there until you log in completely. So if you get the wrong password, you don't have to click yes and then it saves that password and you have to worry about whether it changed, you know, whatnot. This, this little drop down bar follows you until you log in and you click remember. Excellent. I love this. I love this. It's a little change, but it's it's awesome. It's just so much better in terms of functionality and effectiveness than the previous dialog box that used to pop up. That's my that's one of the things I love. Also, smart bookmarks and tagging. Sweet sweet stuff. I love how you can tag <coughs> excuse me. I love how you can tag different bookmarks and basically, you know, if you say you know, if you wanted to search for best techie or everything that you had best techie related, you just tag it all. Best techie, boom, 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 and it makes it so much easier and so much nicer to go through your bookmarks. Love it, love it, love it. Um, smart bookmarks, love that too. Um, just freaking awesome. I love all the. I love how. Uh, now this feature, I, I must say the um, the smart bookmarking, kind of kind of uh, turned me off at first because I wasn't sure whether I would like it. The fact that it would try and guess and think it knows what I'm typing into my address bar and whatnot. I didn't think I was going to like that, but to tell you the truth, it really impressed me. They really did a good job with that, so I do like that a lot. I like that a lot. Um, also, moving right along with the features, they have so many, but they also improved the download manager now, so you can search through completed downloads if you have a bunch in, in your download list. Or or and I guess not and not or but and and you can resume and uh, resume downloads after crashes much easier than you could have before. All built in, so it's much much better in terms of download management. Also, I'm sorry, the previous thing in terms of smart bookmark, I meant smart browsing, not smart bookmarking. That was that's what I, I meant smart browsing. Also, heightened security. Um, I went to a website the other day, um, that I, that's a site I visit all the time, but it warned me because it didn't have a valid um, SSL certificate. Now not everyone pays even if they have the HTTPS, which is a secure um, secure connection to, to, to the website, even if they have it doesn't mean that they paid for this other uh, certificate. And uh, now, that fi now what Firefox does is it basically doesn't allow you to visit the page which is definitely a nice improved um, security measure and, and you have to add it to an exceptions list so any site that doesn't have a um, doesn't have a, a paid for a certificate basically gets blocked which can be annoying I guess but it but most sites that um, um, big sites like Amazon eBay PayPal uh, Google even um, you know all those sites that have um, HTTPS all pay for a certificate so it won't block those it'll block Smaller sites that use it. Um, if you if and don't and don't worry about it. If you're a regular user of that site and you use it all the time, and you know it's safe, go ahead add it to the exception list. You'll be fine. Also, much improved memory management. I have seen. Look, I I haven't gotten Firefox over 150 megabytes yet, which is just phenomenal. You I used to Firefox used to be like 300. I once had Firefox up to what, like 600, 700 megabyte, megabytes in a single in single usage. It was just horrific. Um, I haven't really gotten it over 150, 200 yet, so I'm pleased with that that improvement. Much much welcome. 
Thank you, Firefox, for not saying your memory leak is a feature. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Also, Firefox 3 loads pages extremely fast, much faster than Firefox 2. Renders those pages much faster. I really, really think that is uh, another nice thing. Because Safari was kicking its butt for the longest time. Safari renders pages like, like that. Firefox was eh. But now they don't, they've done a better job with Firefox 3. It definitely renders pages much faster with the new Gecko engine, which is actually 1.9, uh, which is the new one. Very nice. Uh, so this was a surprise, and this was a much welcomed by me. Firefox 3 add-on support really, really surprised me because they the add-on support has been great. I haven't had one extension since I since the since the upgrade today, and I I use the release candidates, but when I full when the final upgrade came out. All my extensions work perfectly, no issues. I have the latest version for each one, they all work. Excellent. I know there are some that don't work, but I'm saying the ones I use do, all of them. So I really I really do like that, and I use a number of them. Also, I also like the new add-on manager. The add new add-on manager is freaking awesome. I love the fact that you it's all, basically all built into one spot now. You can basically get all your add-ons through the manager instead of having to go to the website almost. You can search, find new ones, etc. All within the manager. Very souped up, very nice. Also, last thing here, I love how they made the browser very intuitive. They really made the, 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 the GUI and the interface much more intuitive, much nicer, and much um, and, and, and adapts much nicer to the OS you're currently on. They have different themes. Um, they don't just have one, def one default theme. They have different themes for XP, Vista, OS X, Ubuntu. All different themes for all these uh, operating systems that are basically when you install it, that's the theme you get to match your operating system. In. Awesome job there! I really, I really think that's a great touch because your browser is basically an extension um, of of your OS. I mean, seriously, you use your browser all the time to gain access to information over the web, and it really should be part of your operating system or feel like it's part of your operating operating system. And I think they did a great job with that. Um, interface overall props to Firefox 3 I really like it I hope hopefully it'll continue to get better and you know keep they keep doing what they're doing and uh, improving it I'm sure they will because the Firefox and Mozilla have been doing a pretty decent job lately uh, much better release than Firefox 2 in my opinion and I'm really happy to see a lot of these improvements and features that they have in, in, incorporated into the new browser but uh, you know this this is time for the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, stop by live.besttechnology. Even if I'm not streaming, we have people in the chat room. Right now, we have 97 people in the chat. 97. That's awesome. Come say, come say hi. Don't say, well, don't say bye unless you're leaving. But we don't want you to leave because we like you. So stick around. Live.besttechnology. Come say hi to us. Come say hi to me. I always say hi back. I'm a pretty friendly guy. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.